Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. Uh, in the last video, I reviewed this uh, Larasonic Modern Laravel SAS starter kit and I had a comment on YouTube to clone and work locally, which I have done behind the scenes. So you can go to GitHub and clone the repository. Now I'm using Hard, so you can clone the repository this is an example with docker but also we have an example with uh, let's call it documentation so installation and installation with laravel heart so git clone that repository and open the larasonic.test okay now let me just uh, open that project here i have the project Larasonic example, maybe zoom it, yeah. And we have the .env example file here, which I have copy and make a .env file with this. Now I make some changes here. First, I remove the connection with SQLite and connect with uh, MySQL. Then, also for the Stripe, I have added the Stripe key secret and web webhook secret and also the mail i'm going to use and I'll, let's open also the mail trap here just to show you go to my inbox and i'm going to clean for now the messages okay then we have also the app url we need to point to the url this uh, is going to, to be host i'm going to use expose the for properly to work with the webhooks for the stripe so let's open the terminal and i am in the arasonic example i'm going to say expose okay here is the expose i'm going to copy this url and i'm going to open my stripe account and here i'm going to change the webhook url okay and let me just zoom it a little bit for you so let's update this with the new one and i'm going to save the destination okay now let's go back to google chrome and open this project yeah we need also to run the open the db engine because we are using mysql and if i refresh we need to run also the npm run dev of course so let's come here open a new tab and run the npm run dev and as i told you you need to pass that url in here which i'm going to do in my env file so in here I'm going to update this with a new one and now let me just come here and refresh and yeah now we have the project here we have featuring a someone but what i'm going to do i'm going to go to register and fake filler here i'm going to agree and then i'm going to say register okay now this is going to send an email but as i told you i'm going to use the mail trap and here is the email when we click here we are logged in on the project here we are now we have the dashboard we have the settings so profile information linked accounts also you need to add the github and the keys and also gitlab update the password two factor authentication browser session is this one and to delete the account then we have a chat also for this one we need the api for gemini then what i want to show yeah dark mode okay come here settings which is the same as settings right here we have the api tokens the generate api tokens and also we have the billing and here i have added my prices on the let's open the config file directory sorry and we have subscription here 
and in the price ID, I updated that with my price ID and the price also to 120 and 12 here for basic and also the my uh, stripe price ID. Okay, with that now we have something like this and let's subscribe. Let's click subscribe. So you are not subscribed to any plan. Subscribe to a plan to continue. I can click here and yeah, we're going to go to we're going to check out dot stripe and we can add the fake because this is a test mode. I'm going to say five six seven. I'm going to say subscribe. And we are directed to the dashboard. If I click again, the billing. Now you are currently on the Laracon last Sonic Basic plan, okay? And yeah, we have this if you want to download the invoice from Stripe to so download invoice or receipt. But I'm going to leave it. What I want is the manage subscription when i click here we redirect back the dashboard and i think let me just open the web routes when we register the route and we have the route for the subscription let's open the controller and here we check if config get cashier billing enabled if that is true we redirect to the route dashboard which i think is the opposite the same we have here. So let's say if that is false, we're going to return to dashboard. Otherwise, stay here. And now let me just go again and click on the minute subscription. And now, yeah, we go to billing.stripe. We can update the subscription, cancel the subscription. And yeah, update information. Also add payment method. Let's say I want to update the subscription because I tested this and it's not working or maybe we need to wait. So current subscription is pro 12 per month. I'm going to choose yearly and let's continue. Okay, so yearly is 120 because we have paid 12 per month. Now we need to pay only 18 euro. So let's confirm this. Yeah, now we have 120 per year current subscription. But if I go back, return to new business, we are still on the basic plan. So this is not updating. So if you take this, you need to make a your uh, manually yourself, or maybe it's going to update also the owner of the Lerasonic. And that's it. What I wanted to show you, yeah. You, if I refresh, still the same. This is not going to update. And also, let me just open the table plus. Let's open first the TB engine and open the table plus here. And here you can see we are on the Lasonic Basic. This is a pro. But the stripe price is the same as the uh, this one who has pro, also this one who has a basic. So I don't know why this is not updating. Maybe we need to change the code. Okay, friends, uh, that's it all about this video, what I wanted to show you. And if you like such a video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends, and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.